Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a grocery haul through Woolworths Australia. I've got plenty more in the fridge and the freezer, but this came late last night and I didn't do the video because it was just too late. So I didn't actually film this grocery haul until the following morning. There's a couple of things missing like twirls because the kids wanted to eat them last night, but I did film them before they ate them. And also I went to pick up the the fruit loaf like the fruit toast and three pieces fell out on the ground so I had to throw them in the bin. I think it's because the bread tag is cardboard and it was wet from the delivery truck so basically when I picked it up three pieces just fell onto the floor so I've lost three pieces of bread there but that's okay never mind. But let's have a look at what I picked up my family of four this week through Woolworths Australia. So I picked up some Optimum for my Labrador. This was on special this week for $29 dollars for seven kilos so um uh, yeah he goes through dog food pretty quickly he's a pretty big dog so that's seven kilos of dog food for 29 dollars and it had a really good special on it it was reduced from 42 dollars so i'm finding it difficult with dog food because it has gone up so much over the years we've always had dogs and i've noticed the increase and sort of not a lot of um different brands anymore or something i'm not sure but anyway that will keep him happy for a while now Okay, I've got some breads and things like that. Obviously, my raisin toast, like I said, I've lost a few pieces of that on the floor. Um, that was on special this week. So I got that and I usually just pop it in the freezer. Um, but the raisin toast this week was $3.50, which is really, really good because it's usually like $7 now. I just couldn't believe that. I couldn't believe that when I just looked that up. It's usually $7, so it was $3.50. I also got some muffins. They were on special for $3, reduced from $6. Um, uh, but yeah, I would, I would only ever buy them for $3 or get them from Aldi or something like that. So, um, uh, we just usually have bacon and egg muffins with that or maybe Vegemite on them in the mornings. And I also got some of these Anzac biscuits. These are lovely biscuits. They taste so, so homemade. I did used to make Anzac bickies, but these are so spot on. They're not too big either for the kids. And these were $2.50 reduced from $3.40 and it's a really good product because you're able to support the Australian veterans and their family by buying this product. So I was really happy with these biscuits. They're delicious. I've also picked up some breadcrumbs. We don't have any breadcrumbs in the house and I've noticed such an increase in them. Like I think these ones were $3 a packet for um, 700 grams, but I've just needed them for a few different recipes. I don't often use them but I really do miss them when I don't have them in the house. So I just got them. I do usually sometimes get the panko ones, but um, yeah, just some basic breadcrumbs. I know I could make them if I wanted to, but I really don't have a really good processor for that anymore. Um, I just got some of the more of these chocolate milks, $5 for them for school. And they usually just have them three days a week each along with their bottle of water. I got one can of SPC spaghetti for $2, usually at $2.50. I find that really, really expensive, but I really felt like a can of spaghetti on toast. Um, my kids like it as well, but it is so expensive at $2 a can just for spaghetti, but I have to get it on a cheaper discount and buy more. Uh, more of this Brazilian coffee here, um, uh, the Jara one, that was back on special. That seems to come on special at least once a month. So that was $3.50 for that, um, just for my husband. I have it sometimes, but it is reduced from $7.50. So that's pretty expensive. So if you can get it on special, um, uh, it's a great price for that. And I'm just zooming it in because I never knew Jara coffee was made in Melbourne. So that's good. And I've got some resealable bags. I've got the snack ones for $3.25. I've also got these large sandwich bags, which are really great in the freezer. They're $3.50 a packet for $25, but they're great for when you're like um, downsizing nuggets and things like that or large quantities of frozen foods. The snack ones are basically just for um, just little things for their school. They don't always have them, but just occasionally they're good for if I'm putting fruit in there or something like that, or if they're going on excursions and they, you know, that I can't take containers and things like that. I've also got 75 of the sandwich resealable bags as well. And the sandwich bags were $3.50. So I've pretty much stocked up on them for a, um, a while now. Though I really do like those large sandwich bags. They're really good. They're always good if you're going on trips and things like that as well. And you can even fold up kids clothes in them or swimmers or anything like that but I know some bags are a lot larger than others but they're always really handy to have that's just the Hercules brand that I've got um, this week 
and I've just got the Essentials Aluminium Foil for $1.90. I would really do like when Aldi have that sale and they come out with those huge rolls of cling wrap and foil and really that lasts me like a year and a half because I don't go through it that much. And I love this tomato paste. It's a double concentrated one. It comes in the tube like this and I find it's just so handy. It's very, very strong. It's on special this week for $1.50 reduced from $2.10 and I just find it's, it's just a great product. I really enjoy it. And I've got some Campbell's uh, stock. I got the uh, vegetable stock and I've also got a chicken stock as well. These are really good when they're on like special. Got them, well, everything's good when it's on special, isn't it? But I got these for $2.25 and they are usually $4.50, but I would only ever get them when they're on special. But um, I've got some soups and thing, things I want to make over the next week or so. And But these are really, really handy to have in the cupboard. I usually do buy the beef bone broth online but I really do have to buy another another lot of it I haven't done it for a while um and that's always handy because I can use that for everything but yeah just chicken and um a vegetable stock there and yeah it's always a great just an easy thing when you want to make soups and stews and I guess risottos I haven't made a risotto for many years but yeah it's always great to have these in the cupboard I'm really into eating brown rice now especially for lunch with like tuna or salmon or something like that I find it a really easy thing to cook in my rice cooker and it's really good for you so I have been buying like the um like the brands the home brands um, but I just want to try this one. This is the Sunrise Australian Low GI Rice. It's probably a dollar more for a kilo. So this is $4.60, but, um, you know, it goes a long way. And I just want to try just to see the difference in it. And, yeah, I just basically cook it in the rice cooker. It cooks exactly the same as white rice. And, you know, it's just handy to have in the fridge made up or freezer. I just put them into little clip seal bags, put them in the freezer. And, you know, if you're, you're a person that buys those microwave sort of rices and things, this isn't a really easy option when you put them into little clip seal bags and you can just heat them up in the microwave. I'm going to give this one a try and see if it's any different to the other brands that I've been buying. I've bought a bottle of the extra virgin olive oil, a liter of it. I didn't buy it the other day because it wasn't on special. So I just got canola oil, but I always love having... Um, olive oil as well so um, this was reduced from $26 it was $15.60 which is um, pretty good but it's still a really really expensive it's gone up so much like everything else I've got some ice cream this week and we didn't have any cones so I just got the 12 waffle cones these are $3.20 I used to get these from Aldi because they used to be a really good price as well but I find if you get cones to have with the ice cream you never have to wash up a dessert bowl. So it is worth buying, I find. So I don't have to wash up again after they've had the dessert. So um, that's what um, my little hack is um, to get out of the washing up of the ice cream bowls is I just buy the cones. I've also got some chicken noodles, the Maggi ones. They were on a good special this week for $3.00 reduced from five dollars um but i usually just get the home brand ones if i can't get these on special but three dollars is not too bad but the kids don't mind the aldi ones i just haven't got them from aldi or sometimes i just forget to pick them up i got a box of cheesels this week because they are on special for a dollar 75 i really like cheesels and to be completely honest with you because the shop came late last night and we we're watching movies unfortunately there is no cheesels left in this box because we ate them last night but i just kept the box to show you but these were reduced from $3.50 a packet. So I want to get my bread maker out again. So I've got this, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Lork. This is a stone ground rustic white bread mix, 2.4 kilos. I wanted to get the rye bread because that's what I wanted to start eating, but um, it wasn't in stock. So I just got this one. This was reduced from $10.90 to $8.50, but you do get four big loaves of bread in there. And what I love about this brand of bread is that they're in separate serving sizes. So you've got four separate bags of bread in there. It couldn't be easier. You just tip it in, measure out the yeast and measure the water. Nothing else needs to be added. You don't even need to like measure the flour or anything. That's just incredibly easy. And I absolutely love um, making bread at home. Um, but I just do like buying these packet mixes. I do have other recipes for bread as well, which I do make occasionally but this is more of a winter thing when I make the bread um, you know when it gets a lot cooler and you can put it with stews and all that sort of thing. 
I bought this zesty lime and mint scented hand wash. This is the foaming one. I did go to Aldi the other day and see the foaming one. It was really cheap, but I didn't know if I had one of those bottles, like the pump bottles. So I just didn't get it that week. But this is three dollars fifty for a liter. And I, when I when I got home from Aldi last time, I found the bottle at the back of the cupboard, which I do usually keep, but I just wasn't sure. I got the kids the reconstituted orange juice this week, just the cupboard one. This is $3.35. It's gone up heaps. I remember when it used to be like $2, but I just got that because it's a lot cheaper this week. So I just had to pick up some soft drinks for the fridge outside. We sort of got nothing. So I just wanted to get some ginger ale. Um, uh, two of all of these bottles were like $2.40. I also got two bottles of lemonade and I've also got two bottles of soda water. Um, we do have a soda stream and we are getting very low on the soda stream. So we do need to go to, um, we actually go to either Big W or Officeworks. I usually go to, we usually go to Officeworks because it's not as tempting to go spend a lot of money at Big W, but, um, Officeworks haven't had the soda streams in. So we've had to go to Big W lately and get them, but I usually get two bottles while we're there and it lasts us a few months. And buying the soda stream is a lot cheaper than buying it from Woolworths. And the Eaton Twirls from last night were $1.25 each, so I just got three of them, one for myself and one each for the kids. I didn't get my husband anything, so he'll probably have to share mine with me, maybe, if I let him. <laughs> so I got the Royal Gala apples this week. They were $3.50 for a kilo, so apples are slowly coming down, but they've been so expensive. Like They've been up to like $5 for like a pun of apples, which is so expensive because they go quite quick in our house. Um, with a family of four and I also got a bag of the avocado fresh there's five avocados in this bag that was four dollars fifty for a bag of them and um, yeah we just have these like with vinegar or pepper and salt and on toast with vinegar as well so they're really nice and they're quite filling I even add them to like brown rice which is really good because it just gives it that little bit of a um, you know a nice texture with the rice and sometimes the tuna as well the onions have gone down in price a little bit this week. They were $2.50 a bag. So I just got a kilo of them. I did end up getting frozen onions as well, which I do like having in the freezer, but fresh is always good to have. And I've also got a pumpkin. I got the butternut pumpkin. This whole pumpkin was only $2.10, which is really good. About a month ago, I bought a huge pumpkin for like about $1.80 or something like that. So getting a whole pumpkin like that really does sometimes work out in your favor. I also got some sweet potatoes because I just love having these for lunch and I just cut them in half and put them, put them in the air fryer with some olive oil or maybe some herbs on top. They're really nice, um, just a nice filling lunch to have. And I always sort of add them to like sheet pans, like we're going to have it tonight with salmon. So I'm going to cut that up and put that with our dinner. But they are $4.50 a kilo. I really do need to get to the markets and get them cheaper than that. And I've also got bananas, which are the same price nearly every week. They charge me about, um, you know, $2.88 for the yellow bananas and $2.16 for the green bananas, but they're not really green. They're all yellow. So I was hoping to get some that I could have for later for the kids during the week, but it didn't work out that way. Mandarines. Um, I got some more mandarines because they've come down a little bit in price. But these were about 46 cents each for the mandarins. So I just like peel them and put them in the kids' lunch boxes. And yeah, they're really nice. It's really good to be able to have the mandarins back in stock again. I've also got a bunch of broccoli there, which I'm going to put on our sheet pan as well for dinner. Um, this was $1.95 for one like little bunch like that. So um, yeah, it's still pretty expensive. I've also got some zucchinis there, which were $2.34 for three of them. And I did order some spinach this week, but they didn't have it in stock. Like I, I always get like a big bunch of silver beet and unfortunately they didn't have any in stock. And for some reason they've sort of substituted it with kale. So um, I did end up with kale as a substitute this week. And at first I didn't sort of know what I was going to do with it, but I'm going to do a recipe with it and I will film it. It's always good to have. And it was a lot cheaper. It was only $3 for the kale and the spinach would have been $4.70. But it's always good because the guinea pigs like kale anyway. But this is nice chopped up like as a salad as well. It can be a little bit coarse for kids I find. So I do like to like chop it or really finely. But it is sort of like more from a cabbage family. 
So another substitute I got this week was I usually buy the 12 um, large free range eggs from Woolworths. They were $5.60 usually. They've substituted them with these 12 jumbo free range eggs, which are normally $8.40. I also got some cheese slices, just the Hillview ones for $4.75, just for sandwiches and that. It does make it a lot easier for toasted sandwiches. So I won't be buying any block cheese this week. I'll just buy the cheese slices and the next week I'll get the block. It's quite expensive when you buy both in the same week. And usually by that stage, we've probably gone through the sliced cheese and we'll be ready for the block cheese anyway. Another thing I've opened before we started this grocery haul last night was we got the Primo Thin Hot Dog Frankfurts. They were on special this week for $3.50 a packet instead of 4 the kids were still hungry after dinner, so I opened up this and gave them a hot dog each. But yeah, we we normally do buy these occasionally for the kids, and it is a long weekend, and my kids also had like a people free day as well, so it was another day off. I also got some salami for sandwiches, and I want to make pizzas, so two packets of these are they're five dollars for two packets. And yeah, I always get the Mayfair one because it's not a bad price, but I'm thinking about buying the salami now that you just chop up for the pizzas. So I've got 15 litres of milk. That's how much we go through a week. Usually, if not, I freeze it. So it's a mixture between the full cream and the light milk. I prefer the light milk now since I've stopped drinking full cream milk. But the rest of the milk is outside in my fridge, in my garage. And for mince this week, I just got the lean beef mince. I do want to go to Aldi and get some meat. This is $15.50. Um, and it's 90% meat and 10% fat. So I'm going to make like some hamburger patties with that. I've got the chicken mince, which is $6.50. And I'm going to make some chicken balls with that. Haven't bought chicken mince in a while, but it is handy to have. And I do like these small little containers because um, I could just put them in the freezer like that. I don't really need to like break them down to size because that's actually enough for a family of four for us. And I have got these chicken sandwich schnitzels from the deli. I usually get these on special. They're $1.40 each, so I got four. And we're going to make like chicken burgers with that. Now, this week I wanted to get some hot English mustard. Now, this is very hot. I haven't had it in years. So I thought, oh, it's really nice to have on hot dogs and things like that. The kids, it will be way too hot for them. But I just felt like it, and you don't go through it as quickly either because you really only need a scraping. And this was $4 a bottle. I also got some Cabanossi. I'm just trying to make it a bit clearer there. And this is the Primo Cabanossi. It was on special for $6.70, usually $9. And I do like this brand. I find it's got like a little bit of a bite to it, which I didn't think it did, but it definitely has like a little, it's a little bit hot. The kids really like it and it's great to have in the fridge, but I find once we open it, it goes super quickly and they just, they enjoy it way too much. Now I did get some more of these yogurts. They were on special this week. Um, I don't mind this size. It's a good size for my, for my oldest boy and I don't mind it either to have occasionally. So they're on special this week for $1.20 each, which, which isn't too bad because they're 140 grams. I got two banana, two strawberry and two vanilla. And I got a treat for my dog Bentley. I got him some barbecue lamb flavored straps, the Smackos ones. These were $3.75, usually $7.50 a packet. I usually just get the Aldi ones because they're quite cheap. They're only a couple of dollars a packet, but he hasn't had like Smackos for a while. So they had a good special on them. So I finally got some salmon portions. I haven't had this in ages because it's quite expensive now. This was $29.50 and it's not on special. I think that's what it is now all the time. So, um, uh, you know, I used to get it when it was about $25 a kilo, but it's really good for you. I do want to start eating it and the kids like it. Well, I don't know. My oldest boy doesn't really like fish as much as he used to, but I'm going to make sure he tries to get back into it and see how we go with that. Anyway, so I've got that and that's just such an easy thing to make and we're going to have that for dinner tonight. And I just got the Buller Creamy Classic Vanilla Ice Cream, two litres. It was on special for $5.50 and it's saying here that it's usually $11 for ice cream. So I just got that one this week because I can add the vanilla to anything and that's what I prefer to do. Like I do like the chocolate and things, but the vanilla is really good for milkshakes. So I got lots of frozen like vegetables. So I got the Woolworths Australian baby peas for $3 for 500 grams because I just want to stock up the freezer a bit with some frozen veggies. I've also got the spinach. This is the Bell Farms chopped spinach. I got three bags of this, three bags. So it's really cheap. It's 95 cents. I don't think it's ever gone up in price really and I've always bought it because it's in a portion sizes 
and it just makes it so handy. You could just grab a few portions out, put it in the microwave, but I usually make spinach pie with this, but I just love having spinach in the freezer because it's just so expensive. I'm trying to get into growing it. Um, we're going to set up our garden soon and our new garden beds, and I really want to start putting in silver beet, spinach, all that sort of thing because we do eat a lot of it. And the kids actually eat it. So I guess that's probably why. Um, I've also got some broccoli and cauliflower at the back there. The broccoli and cauliflower was 500 grams for $3.40. This is a good mixture. Sometimes I just buy like the separate cauliflower or the broccoli, just a bag each. But this week I just got one bag. It's 500 grams. And I got some broad beans. I really like these broad beans. These are the Heinz ones. They're $3.80 for 500 grams. They're grown in New Zealand, but I do find I have to take like the outer shell off them because they can be quite tough. I don't know. Maybe I need to boil them longer or something, um, but I usually just pop them in the microwave. But I do usually take that outer shell off because I just like to eat the the um, inner, inner sort of bean. But I know they're full of fiber and you probably should eat that outer um, bean, but it's very tough for the kids. But I'm going to try it again and see how I go. But I really love broad beans. I got some McCain Super Fries, the straight cut. They were $4.80 for a bag, the 900 grams. So chips have just gone up so much in price, but they're really handy to have in the freezer when you've got kids. And I got some diced prep set go onions um, for $2.70 a bag. They have gone up in price. You only get 500 grams, but there's no waste. They're easy. And if you don't have onions, it's always good to have a standby of this in the freezer. And I've also finally got the kids some fish fingers. They haven't had fish fingers in such a long time. I used to get like the Jamie Oliver fish fingers, but they stopped making them. This is a bird's eye, one kilo, and they are now $11.50 for a packet. But the kids can make like fish burgers with them. And I've also got 60 vegetable cocktail spring rolls. I do buy these occasionally. They're a really good price for 60. They're $6.60. So you can get these from Aldi as well, but they're really nice and they're so easy in the air fryer you know, just to add with some soy sauce or some chili sauce and a side of like coleslaw or salad, something like that. So this was an expensive shop this week for what I got, but I bought products like the dog food, which was nearly $30, the olive oil. I also got the salmon and I also got that bread mix as well. So that added up quite quickly. I'm not sure if you can hear that in the background, but it's absolutely pouring here. It's been sunny and then pouring, then sunny, and it's been like that for the last week. So it's just so un unpredictable, the rain. So today's shop totaled $337.78. And I am trying my hardest to get under that $300 mark at some weeks, but sometimes it can be very difficult when you've got bulk products to buy or if you've got birthday parties coming up or anything like that. But I know everyone's in the same boat where we're all trying our best to feed our families good food and just trying to keep on top of it all. And it's really difficult with the prices the way they are. But thanks everyone for watching today's video and I'll see you soon for my next ones.